Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use some of the uh, alignment features inside the Cadence PCB tools. Um, so to start off with, we obviously want to have some align some components. We need to be in the correct application mode to be able to do this. So we want to be in the placement edit application mode. The application modes can be selected from obviously the icons along the top in this section here and from the setup application mode placement edit. We can do a right click in blank space effectively and choose the application mode here or we can get it from this little menu bar down in the bottom. So um, let's just say I want to align the, these ICs here. So I'm literally just going to window select um, these four ICs here. I choose the component that I wish to align to. So maybe it's this middle one here and do a right click align components and it would then distribute the components or align the components based on the center of the place bound shape, which is the kind of the boundary area that define when you're creating components. Um, that can obviously be left or it can be right. So you can choose how you want to align the components. Let's just leave it to the center. I've also got options here to uh, to have the spacing off, which would effectively distribute the components in the Y axis. So I'm going to equally distribute those. I can specify a value here, so three millimeters, um, and I can change the increment value amount and either decrease that amount or increase that amount. Um, depending on the license level that you have, there's also a DFA constraint. So if you have DFA rules, design for assembly rules, it's a table. There's another video showing the design for assembly. Um, it's a table based set of constraints. It would actually space it based on the DFA constraints that you have. Um, if we choose these two ICs here, they're in a slightly different orientation. And again, do a right click, align components. Um, I now get left, center and right rather than uh, top and bottom. So you can actually change the way that they're orientated or the, the tool changes the, the, the alignment edge depending on how they're orientated. Um, if we choose the components, so these are actually different footprints here and do a right click align components. It will actually align them again, left and center. So I can actually control how the, the items are, are distributed and aligned uh, there. I can also now use when I use the move command. So if I did or placement edit edit command, so move command, I've got this dynamic alignment. So if we enable the dynamic alignment and I pick the IC, I'll get this kind of alignment bar that's going to show me centers. And this is using the placement boundary shapes. Um, so we'll just put that down. Let's look at the preferences for this. And this opens user preferences under the alignment guides. Um, so I can um, have it based on a component origin, based on the placement boundary, or I can use it on a rat's nest. So you can actually control how the, the alignment parts are going to be done. So if you have the rat's nest on, you can actually get it to align based on a pin location. Um, but it does allow you to have a bit more control when you're manually just trying to place the components as well. So that should help. 